So what are the four reasons why someone would consider a new set of teeth with dental implants? I'm Dr. Adrian from Advanced Dental Artistry and it's a very common question that we hear not only on the phone when people ring up but also when they come in to actually see us. I think the first reason and probably the most obvious is when someone has no teeth or has lost many teeth. And this of course is when someone may have a full upper and lower denture or maybe partial dentures. The main problem with full dentures is mainly the lower denture and this is because there's no suction on the lower denture and we see that the lower denture tends to move around a lot. The other issue is of course is over time when people lose teeth is that their bone and gum shrink. So over a period of five or so years, because of this shrinkage, patients need to consider a new denture all the time. And as this bone shrinks away, the options of doing dental implants become limited. The problem with partial dentures is that most people find that they cannot chew very well on partial dentures. They often feel with dentures that they can't taste their food very well and that their tongues are always feeling around the plastic and around the clamps. It's really important that if people have problems with dentures is that, is that they seek help because it's really important to determine how much bone is actually there and whether they are a candidate to have dental implants. The second reason for considering dental implant for replacement is when there is aggressive or advanced gum disease. And gum disease is not just limited to the gums, it's actually when the bone is shrinking away and this is when bacteria gets under the gums and it forms colonies under there and the bacteria slowly with their byproduct of acid causes the gums to actually and the bone to actually erode away and this is a problem because the bone is what's holding the teeth in so we see that the teeth start moving they start getting mobile often this disease is painless and what we see is that patients will slowly lose teeth over time or cosmetically they may not like their teeth because they see a lot of gaps between their teeth in this situation, the reason why dental implants should be considered early on is as we lose more bone through gum disease, there may not be enough bone to actually do dental implants. So it's important to actually assess the bone early so we can determine whether this treatment is actually appropriate. The third reason is when a patient has had a lot of dentistry done and they're kind of on the fence. They could still go through with a lot of dentistry to try and save their teeth. However, they're really considering whether, whether placing more money or investing more money in the, their teeth is actually worthwhile. This may be the situation where patients have a lot of heavily filled teeth, a few missing, maybe they've got some infections on their teeth and they don't like the way that their teeth look. In order to get there, to keep their teeth, they would have to go through a lot of dentistry, maybe root canal, single implants, maybe porcelain crowns, ridges, or maybe porcelain veneers. And they really feel that to try and do all of this treatment would be kind of counterintuitive because they really don't feel like this is going to be long-term treatment for them. The fourth option is probably more psychological than anything else and we know that patients have a very high fear often of coming to see the dentist and in these patients we could possibly save their teeth however they feel that multiple visits in the chair the fact that they have to go through a lot of treatment and that it may be very drawn out is that full replacement for them is a better option. Again, we would discuss this option very carefully with the patients because it's a big commitment losing teeth and actually placing with a new set of teeth. And we also know that prosthetic teeth aren't always exactly the same as a natural set of teeth. They are artificial and they're a prosthetic replacement for real teeth. So sometimes they don't act or feel exactly the same. So there's two things that I would like to close with and one is it's very important if you do have infections or gum disease that your health is the most important thing. And if there's infections or gum disease in the mouth, we now know that there is a very strong correlation with gum disease and cardiovascular disease, type two diabetes. In fact, there's even links to things like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. So we really need to make sure that the health is paramount and that the teeth get treated. The second thing is always seek a second or third opinion when it comes to complex medical or dental procedures. And I say that this to all patients. And the reason for this is it's very important for patients to feel comfortable, to make sure they're at the right place and to ensure that they maybe get a second view on what's going on in their mouth. And we really wanna make sure that patients feel comfortable about getting treatment done, that they know the pros and the cons of getting treatment and also the benefits and the risks in seeking treatment when we're doing full replacement 
replacement treatment, this is something that patients need to consider carefully and we will always go through all the options with the patients. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If there's any questions, I will answer them with a new video.